Ah, take rabbit here. Thought we'd have a look at a situation where um, when you're trying to reduce the voltage ripple from your power supply and end up overloading your AC transformer. Let's get into it. So anyway, here we have the experimental circuit. So we have the AC power supply, full wave rectification, and then this is a shunt, resistor shunt to measure the current basically to take the voltage over that. And then here's a load, and that'll be only about 1 amps of load. So, here's the voltage uh, with no capacitor. It's as expected, it's a full load rectification. So, here's the current uh, as measured over the shunt. And it's kind of as expected, so it follows the voltage. So it's just a resistive load you know, after the um, uh, full wave rectification. So. So I've added a 1000 microfarad capacitor and here we see that the um, sinus half full wave rectification is now you can see that it's turned into a ripple. Oh, here's the current. And as we see the, the um, current has increased uh, but it's, and it's become more spiked. So now I've added a, another capacitor, this is 2000 microfarads. And uh, here we can see that the ripple has decreased accordingly. So, have a look at the current. And you can see that it's increased again. The same spike loading profile. And um, this is the, uh, the effect of basically the side effect of trying to reduce the ripple and just by using uh, capacitors. Is that you actually, unknowingly, you actually increase the thermal load on the transformer. Because this is this the spiky use of current will actually induce some um, thermal load on the transformer and then, and then if it isn't taken into account then you might actually overheat the transformer you know just trying to reduce the ripple using uh, lots of very big capacitors and then you end up with this problem so and it's a it's a hidden problem if you're not measuring the current you won't notice it you'll just look at the ripple and say oh everything's okay <laughs> So anyway, back to the original setup, and um, again pointing out another way um, why this is important, because now this, this circuit here, no capacitors, you can see the current on the scope, it will take like yeah, 1.4 amps, and that's what's expected because of the load, uh, the, the, the peak current. But if you start adding capacitors, and with the first one, and then you throw in this, uh, even even more increases the car the peak current, and the peak current will go in this case with the first capacitor will jump to two and a half amps. Uh, so you can see that that in that will increase the thermal load of the um, transform. So I hope you found this informative. Um, please consider subscribing. Or hit the like button if you like the video. Merch is available, or if you'd just like to buy me a cup of coffee, it's possible. Links are in the comments. All the contributions will go towards improving the um, and developing the channel. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.